Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Just look at all these electronics. This looks like a store, a super store, if you will, full of electronic goodness. But I am not standing, I am sitting in a car, a pink car, and there's other cars over there, right here in the Atomic Cafe, the Atomic Cafe sign is right on the back side of that alien that's facing the other way with its back towards us and the back of none other than Darth Vader himself. But we are joined by someone else other than Darth Vader. Once again, it's Hank right there, also known, affectionately known as Zoso in the vlogs. And the reason we are here in Burbank, California at Fry's Electronics, what's the significance to you of this place. I worked on some of the props. And which, in. the props, which props that are actually looming over your head, perhaps? Yep. Right up there? Yep. <laughs> you created the molds for those aliens and those unusual creatures that are playing right next to this classic movie that is hopefully not any copyright <laughs> infringement whatsoever. That might actually be fair use, we're hoping. What movie is it? Is that? Does anybody know what movie that is? that's playing up there. And you can actually get some food right over there. This is in the back corner of a superstore here in California. It's similar to Best Buy. If you have Best Buy in your area, Fry's is a California chain. I think there's a few of them. Do you know how many Fry's there actually are in California? Four that I know of. Four of them? But this me. is probably the most unique because it has the most interesting figures and characters. The Atomic Cafe, you can sit in these cars, we should take a walk around and actually show them some of the wonderful creations that you and others have worked on. How long ago was it that you uh, actually worked nine, on this stuff? 96. 96 years ago? <laughs> or 96? No, 96, 1996. So we're looking at about 19 years. Yeah. Huh. Zoso Hank right here himself worked on these actual props right up here. There's an alien holding a Pepsi right up there. He's very thirsty. If you're going to drink Coke versus Pepsi, now we know the taste test is in. <laughs> Aliens prefer Pepsi. It's my second channel, Daily Blog channel. It's the Daily Woo with Aliens and with Hank slash Zoso. I'm just going to call you Zoso That's in all fine. the vlogs. In real life, you're Hank. Yeah. But in the vlogs, you're Zoso and your Instagram name is Zoso426947 or something like that. I'm not really sure what it is, but here's Vader. You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. Check out these buttons. This is awesome. Now, was this Vader here when you guys were creating the store, creating the ambiance of the Atomic Cafe and the aliens? So tell me a little bit about the molds on these aliens that you worked on. I just you sculpt them, and then you make a mold, and then you just mass produce them. So how many of those did you actually make? How many of those aliens did well, you actually have in your little creation station? Did you ever like take a nap and then wake up and think, man, I'm being attacked by aliens? <laughs> you never did that? No. Who came up with the name of the Atomic Cafe? Yeah, I don't know. No idea? That, that was done from some uh, neon place. That is, I actually really love old school neon. Yeah, that is awesome. And that alien, he's just chilling up there. He's got the legs crossed, manly style. You know, when women cross their legs, they usually fold one leg over the other one, perpendicular like this, but he's men... For the oh, that's, so you came up with that because that, I've seen you sit. <laughs> and you sit in that exact fashion with <laughs> your arms crossed, just like that, your fingers, your long fingers. Now, was that actually replicated after a picture of you maybe as a child or an infant or a youngin maybe that was actually yeah, you was... maybe we can dig up some old photos yeah. of those so oh look at these planes up here as well oh my gosh before we get to the planes this is actually a massive spaceship a ufo if you will check this out it's a massive ufo you can see the red rings going around the cylinder so what is back over here should we walk over here first sure. yeah. So this is actually a UFO that you guys, did you help work on this part of it? No, not this you part. You did not work no. on this part. You just worked just specifically on the, on the, the bugs, aliens the big, the big itself. Insects. So was this in here when you were creating the yeah. aliens and the insects? You said there's insects? 
Yeah. Large or small insects? Large. Which is more terrifying, large or small? See, small <laughs> insects can crawl all around you, get inside the nooks and crannies of your body, into the nether regions, <laughs> if you will. So that's almost worse yeah. than large insects, because large insects, you can just shoo away in some sort of a fashion. But look at this, this is massive. A gargantuan spaceship. We are inside, underneath a spaceship. That is absolutely incredible. This entire area is a spaceship. And there's a space man right over there holding a girl, kind of similar to how King Kong would have held the girl at the top of the Empire State Building. This space man, is this an alien or is this a space man? Oh, it's from what movie is it from? I, I think it, it came from Earth. It came from Earth. I you think. might be incorrect. Everyone is going to correct yeah. you now. I know. I don't, I just what to... movie was this character from? It came from Earth. This is obviously not from Earth. This is from space. The space shuttle, space pod UFO has landed. And there is a creature of metal. It's not the Terminator, but it is a creature of metal holding a girl right there. That is actually super, super cool. You took me in a fries about a week ago, and it was yeah. not as impressive oh, as no. this as far as the ambiance and the aura of awesomeness that this fry has. And look at this. There's a Jeep here with some sort of an army man, G.I. Joe style. And he has his little battery pack conductor that he can talk to other soldiers. He's holding the gun in a very unusual fashion. Normally, if I was to wield a weapon, I would not hold it in this fashion. When you take army training or any gun class, I've actually never held a gun or shot a gun, because if I did, I would probably hold it similar to this guy. But when you take shooting classes, all you gun aficionado, self-proclaimed aficionado enthusiast. I wasn't responsible for this one. Zoso is not claiming <laughs> responsibility for the error of this gun holding air oh my gosh look at this it's been split down the middle by some sort of laser is this an alien laser look at this a laser beam it's like a karate chop alien style yeah yeah <laughs> just right down the middle so where would that laser beam have come from would it have come from the eyes of that guy no not that guy that guy right there or did it come from the spaceship did they brief you on that when you were creating things on how the laser was actually supposed to hit the jeep oh one of, oh there's more aliens <laughs> how many of those aliens did you build how many are there in here would you say we sculpt three different ones and then you make a mold which so there's three yeah, different you, styles of aliens yeah. but quantity wise there's probably at least a dozen maybe yeah. a baker's dozen full of aliens maybe they did three or four sets of each three or four sets making that 12 Three times four would be 12. A baker's dozen, as you guys noticed in my last vlog and commented, is 13. But what is over here? The grand finale of Fry, Fry's Electronics in Burbank. One of four or five Fry's in the California, Southern California area. And check this out. Are you ready? Check it out. You ready to check it out? Are you ready to check it out? Check it out. That's not really what I was referring to, but I want you to check out these massive ants. We're being attacked by ants. Look at the size of these gargantuan ants. And that guy right up there that Zoso Hank created is not terrified of ants. He's actually garnishing a weapon that is like an alien weapon I've actually never seen. If you look up top, it actually has a shark fin on it. And you're a fan of sharks, noticing the Jaws shirt. Jaws is one of your favorite movies, we were saying. So I cannot help by noticing that there is actually a Jaws shark fin on the gun of the alien that you created. See, I'm mind melding with you now. You are putting a little Jaws reference into the alien. <laughs> Am I correct in assuming that, or is 1996 way, way too far too back? Far you don't back. remember what you did yesterday, nonetheless, 19, 19 years ago. That alien, <laughs> remember this is a family show? It was a family show. I can use profanity, even though I am terrified 
of the aunt ant. I wonder if an ant could be an uncle, or if an ant always has to be the female, female. persuasion, who is your bro your dad's brother's wife, could be an ant, which would be that, an ant. I don't know what I'm saying right now, but I was just wondering how unusual it is that 19 years later, that alien is still standing strong, standing in the defensive mode and mechanism against that ant. Almost 20 years, two centuries, these gargantuan ants have been hanging out here at Fry's. Gonna let you guys go, gonna look around Fry's, gonna look for some stuff that we can purchase, some knickknacks, some patty wax, we're gonna give a dog a bone. That's an old song reference, yeah. if you remember that. It came out before 1996. So we should walk around Fry's, see some other stuff, but we should end with the outside of Fry's and kind of explain some of the outside non-nether regions of Fry's. So take a look here at Fry's. There's the customer service. And here is a small child. Here is a small child warning us of something. Aliens invade. Aliens are invading Fry's. Uh, we're going in. We're going in the entrance and not the Look at this alien. He's kneeling over looking at us. All right, look at this. Zoso, come here. Stand here and look up at your creation. Look at your creation. Look at that right there. 19 years later, does it bring back painful memories of working here, creating these? Look at that death stare. No, no, not from Zoso Hankel. Look at the death stare <laughs> from the alien itself. Very cool. It's very cool how creative. Get out of town. I didn't know you did anything creative. Very cool that you worked on those and a lot of other projects. A lot of people will never never know about. Look at the structural damage here. There's a two by four wedged in the wall. I'm not sure if the two by four is supposed to be there, but this is the outside of Fry's electronics. Very, very cool. Look at this. Electronics Fry's. See, I was calling it Fry's Electronics, but in reality, it's Electronics Fry's. <laughs> now, I love Fry's. I love potatoes dipped in hot grease, but I've never had electronic fries. If I was to eat, a, see, probably that metal object creature in there that we don't know what movie it was from. You said it was from the Earth Stood Still. Or something like that. It came from Earth, one of the earthly creature movies. He probably eats electronic fries. And I also am losing my train of thought because look at that right there. That spaceship that these people are enamored by as well actually has red lights, which almost look very realistic to a spaceship flame. You gotta see it at night. You gotta see it at night. But this is the daily woo. We don't do at vlogs night. at night. At darkness, people would be very confused if these vlogs actually went up late at night. But if you're ever in Burbank, Southern California, Burbank is near Hollywood, Los Angeles, come out here at night, maybe get some pictures, tag me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter in front of the most original and epic Fry's electronic businesses in Southern California. Very, very cool. All right, that's about it. We should say adieu, and then I'm gonna go inside and get adieu, adieu. and then we're gonna look around and maybe buy some interesting things from here because I don't think it's supposed to film inside. We have broken the rules, just like the aliens who invaded here, hypothetically, but you created them, but in movie terminology, the aliens really invaded, as far as you know. So we have broken the rules, but now we're going to go inside and purchase something to make it make up for that so no one dislikes us. All right, see you guys later. Say goodbye. Bye.